What's up, y'all? Uh, my name is Ian Edwards, and welcome to the Soccer Comic Rant. Uh, this podcast, you can watch it on YouTube at Ian Soccer Comic Rant Edwards, or just type in Ian Edwards. Uh, you can listen to it on iTunes, SoundCloud, Libsyn, Stitcher, and at allthingscomedy.com, and they have a ton of talented comics there with their own podcast. Some of them you can see on the wall behind me. Uh, the show sponsor is on the volley of pal.com and they have an array of tanks, tees, hoodies, and sweatshirts for men and women. And they can also outfit your local soccer team and use my promo code Comic Grant. You get 20% off. And there's some of the stuff right there. I usually wear some of that stuff, but I'm not today. I got on a Adidas suit that I got on sale at an outlet in Atlantic City. I don't look like outlet though. That shit looks fresh. I know. She looks nice. Yeah, they had some good shit there. Yeah. I bought a Man U shirt there. And I, and I swore Man U's gear was ugly until I saw it in person <laughs> and for a good price on the rack. I was, I was about like, okay. to ask how much oh, you paid for it. Oh, this looks good. $37? I like this. <laughs> I hated watching people losing it, but it's great for me. So I got that. You should have waited until after the Cardiff game, be even cheaper. So after the Cardiff game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, right? Jesus Christ. Thanks, Lee. Appreciate that. <laughs> this is Lee Hudson. He's one of the guests. He has an English football accent, so that's not your ears deceiving you. What's up, Lee? He's a comic yeah, from England. I'm good. All right, it's one of the guests, Xavier, XG, X, X marks the Scorera, X marks yeah, the spot. there we go. XG <laughs> marks the spot. There we go. What's up, son? <laughs> good, good. Hanging out. Hanging Chilling. out. Chilling. Good weekend. Good weekend? Yeah. Yeah, really? You don't like it? For, for soccer-wise? Nah, just in general. Just mother's in general. Day, I've been, oh. I mean, okay. I had it. It was busy, but it was a good weekend. Yeah, my mother's alive. Right? I like you say mother's what's day. up? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there yeah. you go. I get that. And, uh, hey, goddamn hey. Chelsea. Uh, <laughs> My homie Neil Chakravati drove in all the way from uh, San Diego, coming Neil. from San Diego. What up, son? Good, good. Good. Relieved. Season's over. You are? Yeah. If you came, what what did you come it's in? Fourth. You came in fourth. We are the best of the worst. You, no, nah, you came in fourth. <laughs> we came third. Third. So why yeah. are you relieved? You should be happy. You got a yeah, Champions yeah, League yeah. spot. You're yeah, in I'm the League finals. I, I, don't, I don't think we could have sustained it for another couple of weeks. So I'm happy that it nope. cut off right now. None of the teams below Liverpool and Man City could sustain anything for the last two months. They were just yeah. erratic. So you, you, you're the best of the erratic teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the gap's crazy, uh, 25 points from mm -hmm. Liverpool down to Chelsea. Yeah, it's, it's a insane. crazy gap. That's a lot. And normally I like gaps, but well, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the way I look at it is like, the, it was the same gap that Liverpool had last season. They managed to make it up. So yeah, know. Liverpool made their gap up. Yeah. What What do you think Liverpool did to make up their gap? Because it will kind of inform what the other teams need to do to yeah. close the gap on these two teams. I think they were patient with Klopp. Um, they got him the players he wanted as well, mm -hmm. and he. They didn't change the style. They just carried on building on it. Right. And I think that was why, like you see some clubs, they chop and change every two years. Right. Um, there's high turnover of players, whereas he's he's kept it pretty consistent. Like so, that's that's the thing. Like I believe that's true, right? So I believe that's true, but also I look at teams like Chelsea, and I saw this thing where they've won or been in ten finals, ten finals or twenty finals. Twenty in, finals in twenty years. In twenty years, yeah. mm -hmm. and if you look at the list of managers that they had, you know what I mean. Like so, then there's 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 an argument for that way. I think the argument works that for Chelsea if you have the right players. Yeah. And, uh, and then you bring in like a top coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think for the majority of that time, we had a core of like seven or eight players, right. which was really solid. So it didn't really matter which. You can do that if you have like a really high quality team. Right. Yeah, if you have Czech, Terry, Lampard. Yeah. And, and then you, go, yeah, all then you give those players to Ancelotti or Mourinho or right. Conte. Right. They can just. Go. I mean, I think there was one couple of seasons where. Some of these, uh, you know, lesser players from that era, they came out saying it's pretty much just the players managing the team. Yeah, yeah <laughs> was, they, we had somebody, but who said that the lesser players? Uh, the this haters? Was, no, this was this guy <laughs> called Steve Sidwell. He was. Who, not, he was not. Yeah, good. he came through the like the championship and stuff. He, he spent two years yeah. at Chelsea, but he was like, you know, the, when Mourinho left mm -hmm. and they appointed Avram Grant, we went to the mosque of the final and lost to you guys. Champions League, but you're welcome. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much just the. But Grant did get to a final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But I think the same thing with Di Man Matteo City. Matteo got to a final as well. Yeah, <laughs> and won. Di Matteo and they won, got right? sacked six months yeah. later. <laughs> but my my point is like, is, which is your point is like, if you have Man City has a core group of players, yeah. you know, companies one of them, and uh, Sergio Aguero and David Silva, yeah, Fernandinho as well, Fernandinho. And it's like they adapted to to anybody that was there. And he's the third coach to win with those players, yeah. and then he added to them. And then so so that's a way to build, you know. I just think, Man U, we bought bad players. We spent the same amount of money or close to what Man City did over the last few years. I, I don't think you bought bad players. I just think you bought a mishmash of players that didn't fit a particular philosophy. It was kind of a jumble sale of players they, I think there's some good individual t players t there tell me the good players we bought okay <laughs> this is going <laughs> to take a while but I, th I think Martial's a quality Martial's player yeah. but again like he, has he been used right has there been a system like you you're, you haven't really had a, a sort of identity right. for a while <laughs> well I, I don't think Martial is a quality player yet I think he has the potential mm. so he's like you know how Sané doesn't start for Man City yeah but they don't need him to start, <clears throat> and if he makes mistakes, they can yank him. Yeah. Well, that's what he's saying that they just don't. They're, yeah. they're not giving him the potential to well, play. Like, they're good players. Yeah. They're just yeah. not. No, no well, but but I'm, I I I know what he's saying, and I'm saying, I'm saying I would keep Marshall, right? I just think he's Sane on, and Sane wouldn't start on. Well, that's because the people on Man City. Well, that's because the, there's somebody ahead of him. Right. Mm. Exactly. So Bye. we need like. So who are who else we got? I th I, th I rate both Bai and Lindelof, um, but they've been in and out of the team. They've and like I say, there's no real philosophy there. Um, I rate Shaw. Obviously, well, let, as let a me just fan, let me I rate just, Shaw. Let me just stop it. We'll go Bai. I rate athletically, mm. mentally. He, he's I don't know how many Man U games you watch, but he makes horrendous mistakes, and it's kind of like a uh, like a uh, I'm. African show off syndrome <laughs> mistakes. Like you you know, and you what can't I'm have about? that at centre back. You, you can do that like that. in the middle exactly. of the park, but like up front. Yeah, exactly. But when he was at Villarreal in La Liga yeah. and he was playing every single game, he was yeah. class. Villarreal in La Liga. That's all yeah. I gotta say. What who else? That's where the best attackers in the world are though. So and he was he gone okay there. I mean <laughs> are they the best attackers in the world? Ronaldo and Messi were there at the time. Oh, I thought you were talking about don't who they got right now. You wouldn't keep any of those? Uh, well, I, Sanchez, I mean, no. <laughs> well, you can't really go wrong with these guys. Like you, you put them on the. You can't go right with them. What do you mean you can't go wrong? <laughs> right? No, that, I mean it's that, clear, that, clearly that bottom four all proven yeah. Premier League forwards. But like any team would want to get. Okay, I hope so point. because then you want to buy Sanchez from us. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want. I, I would love to have got Martial off of you guys. I I feel he's class. I say. I, I say we keep him. So, yeah. I, but Lukaku is questionable. Yeah, I agree. And he, I've never agreed <laughs> with Lukaku. Like, if you've heard the podcast, I'm like, he's <laughs> he, like, I'm, so I'm never, I'm not sold. And then last year was his good year. Yeah. And he only had 16 goals. And this year, less than that. Mm -hmm. And he, at the beginning of the season, Mourinho played him every game, no matter how much he didn't score. And he had his chances and the team was set up for him at the detriment to other players. Well, I because I went to Southampton versus Man United at St Mary's, and I went to Man United Southampton at Old Trafford. Right, don't brag! Don't he brag! Scored, <laughs> he scored. He scored in all those games. Yes, because he scores against the easy team. Oh, well, I, come I feel on. like because <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a Southampton feel, fan. I, I kind of feel Lukaku has that thing where he just spent one year too many at Everton, and he's <laughs> got that. He's got that whole mentality about where he can do that. You know, bullying a centre back. But when it comes to the big big teams, you don't get that luxury. So you're saying he's a he's better when he's a big fish in a small pond kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. So uh, or he developed a bad mentality. Yeah, I, he just spent like he and I, I feel like I have the same worry about somebody like Wilfred Zaha right now at Palace. Like he's or Richarlison is gonna be in the same situation. They shouldn't be playing outside of a you know team that's competing or like in the top six. For that many years. For that many years. All right, you might have, you, you know, kind of stagnate. I and might, then it's difficult to get over the hill. I might agree with that. I mean, I, I think Zaha is overrated anyway. Hmm. You know, yeah. He's, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's, he's not what do you think? I think he's, 
yeah, he he picks and chooses his moments. He's a bit of a I, and I don't like he's that. a bit of a flat track. You, you gotta you gotta show yeah. up. And what do you I, think about Zaha? Well, I liked him until he started calling <laughs> calling me out. He's like, pay attention to when he scores and when he doesn't. He's yeah. one of those players who's not consistent. <laughs> yeah, and I like well, I like his fancy but, movement. But I like my, I like. Well, that's my point. Like in those teams, it's difficult to find consistency as a forward. What do you mean? Because you're not ga- you're you're playing in a team which has no squad. less than 30 40 percent possession for most games. And then you're dependent on somebody else giving you a ball. There's a not good enough one. quality. Yeah, a good there's, one there's too. Yeah, it's a good quality. one. So I mean, I, I understand that, but there's enough bad teams or okay teams in the Premiership for these guys to show up. Like, say th- there's a yeah. top six, and then it's it's a free for all. Top for two the, this season. Top two, <laughs> top two, <laughs> then the other four, and then you know, like you 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 get you. I, I agree with you, but you there's some moments. Where Zahar can do more on a consistent basis, and he's You're saying at it. least do what Mahrez used to do. Yeah, 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 and yeah, uh, and 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 uh, what's it? Vardy? Vardy, yeah, yeah. And Vardy came to Man U a few years ago and ripped us apart. He had like a, a hat trick or some shit. Mm. I'm like, yeah. who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. Why is he doing this shit to us? He shows up against the big teams. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he registers any team as a big team. Like he has that mentality, yeah. that street footballer mentality, where he's just. But you've seen him, he turns up to games and he, he bangs a can of Red Bull yeah, and then yeah. he just goes out there. <laughs> yeah. Like, seriously, he's there, he yeah. doesn't care. That's hilarious. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, Vardy, you know. But, yeah. So who else do you think our manual is good? Let's have a look. Let's that we bought. <laughs> um, what about Fred? I, I think Fred can be a good player. Can be. Can, can be. Can be. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe but in the right system, because City were in for him as well. And right. if, he, if he had gone to City... They would have had a plan for him, but they would have protected but him. I don't think you had a plan for him. <laughs> you were just buying players, right? I, so here's, I still kind of want to go down the top of the table, right? And then we can talk about yeah. these players. And it's not more like, so Man City won, and they won with 98 points. And it's more like not what the last game was about. Like, how do you mm. guys think of Man City's season? So we start with you. 98 points. I mean, yeah. it could be a sim- yeah, You can't go fucking. And then, but then again, Liverpool too. I think I think I think Man City's slipping. They won by 100 last year. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think they're on their way down. <laughs> 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 no, I think they did. I mean, obviously they did great. They and won 14 in a row. Yep. To to, they knew they couldn't afford to lose to one yeah. point. And that's stressful. And that's fucking stressful. And mm. then Not still being in every week. That, yeah. And then still being in the Champions League, a little bit of pressure of that too. Yeah. Because they're probably going to win the treble, aren't they still? So Com- first yeah. of all, yeah. that's like most, most seasons. First of that's all, as a Man U fan, it is disrespectful for anyone to call that a treble. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. What, was it's it disrespectful when Mourinho tried to say that the Community Shield <laughs> and the Europa League No, no, League because, was, because, was cause I, cause I openly <laughs> go back and forth on that. Yeah. On the community shield. Community and shield yeah. does not count. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I openly go, yeah, yeah, I, I've said, say two. And that's another thing. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. We'll I, got, with I that. got a community shield in a packet of cereal the other day. <laughs> 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 you eat Fruit Loops too? Right. <laughs> that's where I got mine. What do you think about Man City season? The table doesn't lie, does it? <laughs> um, <laughs> but I think it's been good to see there's certain players who had been peripheral for them before who really stepped up this year. Like Bernardo yeah. Silva, for right. me, was one of the best yeah. players in the league this year. Yeah. Well, and he's... Go ahead. Like yeah, last year people were like unsure on him, and right. he showed flashes of it. Right. But then this year he's been on fire. Yeah, he's like he's like you got to start him. But yeah. that's why I believe in Fred because I've seen and and Marshall. It's like even though Marshall's been in the league a long time, specifically Fred, like mm. he it, it it couldn't have been a worse start to a season, right? And mm. but I've seen and this is something I took from Mourinho when he talked about Cavallo. He said it took Cavallo as a defender a long time, like a year or a season, for him to be the great the Chelsea defender that he became. Yeah. And then, uh, and when I look at Bernardo Silva, how much you're like, this is a different guy from last year. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, some p- players it takes like a season, and Fabinho from from Liverpool. Liverpool. Yeah, it yeah. took a while. Yeah, it took 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 a while. So that's why I like, all right, Fred might be something. Yeah. All right. No, I agree. Yeah. H- who else? Um, and then, what do you think about Man City season? <laughs> well, I'm all over this. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I, I feel like there was right, like enough, if you look enough, at last enough, season, right? <laughs> right? Okay. If you look at last season, there's there's only one. What they did l- achieve last season was insane, mm-hmm. and there's only one way they could have bettered it, and that's to do that but under pressure, and that's what they did this time. No, they could have. What did they? I mean, what else did they win last year? But th- this is it. 
they they had an idea. I mean, they they won and they went out in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Well, last year they didn't win the FA Cup, right? Yeah, but that I mean, so they won if the they, if they, if you, yeah, yeah, if they yeah. add that, then that's yeah. fine. That's that's that's. Yeah, but better. but like to do to have that elite a season while every week, you know, as you said, like you 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 step out and you know you have to get three points. Like a point isn't good enough. Mm. And um, I mean, they have built this thing where they have to s- to playing elevens, right? Uh-huh. And they can keep switching in. They have a backup player for every, every position, yeah. but they actually made use of it. Kevin De Bruyne played like what seven hundred minutes or like less than thousand minutes. Well, like over he, the well, he got injured, and yeah. then he had to come back from the injury. But did did anybody feel it? No, no, it, no, it, it, no. It, I agree with yeah. you, it, and that's the thing. It's like I, I'm not disagreeing with you at all. I'm just. Uh, I'm just, I guess the question is, Man U has a lot of work to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, the rest of the table has a lot of work to do. (laughs) Yeah. Liverpool is like right there. But Liverpool's Mm -hmm. given us a nice template of what you need to do Mm -hmm. to, 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 you know, to to shorten that gap and like get close. Right. You you look at your first 11 and see where are the holes you have. Like buying a whole bunch of players is not going to work. You fix those holes in the first 11. Right. So what did Liverpool yeah. do at the beginning of the season? They got a goalkeeper. Yeah. Alisson, uh-huh. 65 million. Right. Yeah. What uh, else? Cater, 43 million. Right. Yeah. They spent a lot of money. <laughs> right. And, and they 43 got million is not bad mm. for what a Cater is going to give you for the for what the prices of what players are going to go to and what Cater is going to give you. So you got Bernardo Silva for less than Cater. Yeah. But <laughs> that's before yeah, yeah. goddamn Neymar got sold and ruined the whole market. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, and and they got Van Dyke ha- mid- midway through last season. How much was Van Dyke? Yeah, well, it was around seventy million. Eighty million. It's a record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was worth yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah but uh, but the c- the cool thing about that is they also got folks like if you look at the entire defense. So Van Dyke and Allison got a lot of money, but then Robertson, mm. Gomez, and Alexander Trent Allison like yeah. came for pretty much zero. Right. Exactly. So overall, on an average, you're not really spending a lot. And mm. and and those guys like Robertson and yeah. what's the other back? Uh, Alexander Trent Alexander, Trent Alexander Arnold. Arnold. Like, f- like, first of all, fuck you. Like, where do you just, you assists. fucking kids, just Fifteen. come in the league, yeah. and then the first moment I see you play, I'm like, where yeah. did this grown ass kid who looks like it's his first day ever playing soccer, <laughs> how does he show up like I'm a professional soccer player at a yeah. higher level than most people in that position? Like, where, how the fuck does that happen? And then, and then, to show how important backs are, like they both have like twelve assists. Yeah. Yeah, like they're exactly. basically midfielders. Right. Like, uh, who who has the high highest? Uh, the guy Frazier from Bournemouth has mm-hmm. fourteen assists. Hazard has fifteen, and Hazard yeah. has fifteen. Yeah. And then these two mother, you have two backs. Yeah. Yeah. Plus you got <laughs> midfielders too. It's yeah. like goals are coming, or the possibility, the chances are coming from everywhere. Yeah. It's like, and they're defenders. Yeah. So yeah, they've both been ridiculously good this year. Yeah. Um, Alexander Arnold for me is the best right back um, in the league, and yeah. he's like overtaken Trippier in the England team as well. Yeah, yeah. you sure? He's gonna he's gonna take over Kyle Walker too. Yeah, like he'll be England's right back now for yeah. ten years plus. And England's got some crazy quality in that point. Like Juan Bissaka is there. Yeah. yeah. And England's looking really good. Yeah. Like the yeah. the biggest takeaway for me from this entire season. Uh huh. Like with you know my team not being con- competing for the title. Was team India? <laughs> <laughs> not competing for the uh, the league title, but England's gonna. Well, they better after their after what yeah. they showed last year. I mean, the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're and it's one. finally like y- we talk about the <coughs> '90s and the 2000s golden generation for a- England, right? Mm-hmm. This time they have a similar generation, but now finally all these players. They're playing in similar systems at the club level, mm-hmm. so it's not that much of an adjustment. You know, when they go over to play for the national side, they can just play their own positions. Yeah, yeah, and there's it's a different mentality yeah. too. Yeah, there's still some as well that haven't make and make that jump yet. Like Foden, he's still. Oh yeah, he's, he's still he's on still the, fringes, the fringes. But when yeah. he makes that step, he'll be an England player yeah. as well. Yeah, and right. that's yeah, yeah. It's well, crazy. You, how how did you feel about the World Cup? In England, like, the, what's the men? Is there a mentality different? Is it all just mentality from the Beckham guys? The positivity to the, to, yeah. it was refreshing because normally everyone's really cynical. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The media can't wait to Red like just drag the team down. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, there's usually some like they'll dig up some scandal before the tournament and hilarious yeah. <laughs> things. But this this time everyone got behind Southgate. Everyone yeah. sort of bought into the positivity, and it was. But when did they nice. during the during the World Cup or no in the before. build up in the build up yeah. 
I know I was kind of shitting on him before. <laughs> for real. I was like, what well, Southgate, why? Yeah. You know. But I think he's just it was just the way he handled everything and just his his general. Oh, so in the press out yeah. there, it's yeah. All, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, he's definitely improved the team. I was wrong, mm. and I'm, I'm 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 rooting for him a thousand percent now to make up for all the shit that I shit on him before. That. <laughs> <laughs> I, he yeah, he no knows joke. all these players like all those mm. uh, you know the new the new England team. He's worked with them at you know under nineteen under twenty one level. Yeah, and that's the beauty. Yeah, yeah. So he was he an F- he was an FA guy. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. yeah. It's a while, great so. thing that he failed at Middlesbrough, was it Middlesbrough? Yeah. yeah. So that they dropped down to coaching the, the youth system and then knowing yeah. all these players and mm. now that, it's, it's just perfect timing. Timing is everything. Right. Like international management's really different to club management right. as well. Yeah. So having someone that, I think it's probably better that they, he came through that system right. than if he was a good club yeah. manager and you just threw him into an international job and went, well, let's hope it works because it's, it's really different. But I believe like, you know how everybody's looking for the new pep? Yeah, you yeah. know, it's like the, the the new Pep was a youth coach at Barcelona, exactly, mm. yeah. and that's why, I, I guess we're gonna get to Manu, but let me just say, <laughs> let me just say, I know this where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, somebody's at the wheel. <laughs> like, I like Ollie. This is what Ollie needs to do. We need a system. Mm. Like, you need an identity. Yeah, and I, I, this what we what we're doing right now. Like, I think he might be the right coach if he can find us a system. Because... Mm. For me, right now, if you look at your squad, though, it's like it's it's like someone's like gone to the store and bought a bunch of ingredients, but you can't <laughs> actually make a meal out of it. Right. But I've, I've <laughs> s- <laughs> pe- people have said that before, right? Yeah. But I've seen the right coach turn that type of team around. Mm. Well, I, I... You know, and he did in the beginning. Do, do you think... <clears throat> but, but I don't think we have good players. Mm. I'm, I'm like... Like you know, you know how you just said the thing about Liverpool, yeah. And you like you see where you have the holes mm. and you fix them. Yeah. We got holes, man, and we yeah, just need to fix them. Swiss cheese, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a sieve. You could you could, you could strain <laughs> pasta through our roster. <laughs> well, do you think you guys rushed into making the him permanent? Nah, I listen. Our team always need needed players from before last season, right? Before this season. I was like, we need three mm-hmm. midfielders. Like, and everybody's like, the, Mourinho was like, oh, I want defenders. We don't need no fucking defenders. <laughs> but not, not, we need, bef- we do, but most importantly, midfielders. Mm. You know, good ones. You know, ones to back up Pogba so he doesn't have to play every day. One so if he turns and passes the ball, that person could turn and pass yeah. the ball and build. We would have got, but for some reason he was focused on central midfielders and to be honest we don't need central midfielders we need backs mm. and and robertson and trent alexander arnold is an example of full a good yeah. good full backs will get you assists so they will also help with the scoring and the defending and it's like we have central midfielders they might not be the best but if you mean center backs center backs yeah right but if we can say we can only buy three to four players this year and i think i said this on the show before if we can only buy three to four players you know, t- at least one or two of them should be backs. Yeah. Because we can, because if you get a central midfielder, a c- central defender, you're still going to have more back problems than central defender problems. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you can't play young. You yeah. definitely need a back. And then you need a backup back <laughs> for any one of those <laughs> so backs. That leaves, so I leaves you with two more. What would you, what would you get? Some sem- central midfielders, like good ones, you know, like world class ones, ones that can like pass and hold on to the ball and create and and uh, dissect a defense. Because mm. Herrera's gone, isn't he? He's off yeah. to PSG. Yeah. And to be honest, I only liked Herrera because he was better than what we had. But if I look at him like by himself, I don't think he's as great as everybody thinks he yeah. says he is. Yeah. You need you need to push McTominay next year. He's shown towards the end of this season that he's he's got something. Yeah, and I liked him from the before. I liked him mm. more than other people. Mourinho was playing him as a defender though. Like yeah. if you if you play him as a as a central midfielder, I think he'll he'll shine. He ended up being a yeah. Like he ended a, up defending. like a Matic kind of mm. yeah player, yeah. He ended up being a defender in the game against <coughs> Cardiff, and he was partly responsible for the second goal that Cardiff scored yeah. against us. He's not a defender. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he showed that. He's like, "Hey, you want to play me defense?" <laughs> All right. There weren't there weren't many defenders in the last day of the Premier League. It was crazy for goals. It's crazy. What do you, What do you think of Liverpool season? I feel bad for them. You? Yeah. Yeah. 
mean they won they, what 15 did they win 15 in a row yeah that sucks when 15 in a row and <laughs> not fuck up for 15 games and still yeah. not fucking win it after what 26 years or something like that yeah yeah, yeah. and Knowing that they're gonna lose to Spurs, that's gonna <laughs> <suck>. <laughs> I was like, "How bad do you feel for them?" Like, <laughs> that's what I'm this saying. It's, it's about to get worse. It's yeah. about to get that's, bad, bro. That's, he's a Spurs fan. Yeah, he's a Spurs fan. He's spoken like a true Spurs fan. Uh, well, how do you feel about Liverpool? Yeah, season. I feel a little bit of sympathy for him. Um, yeah. Like, was it one loss the whole season? Yeah, the City game. That was it. Mm-hmm. it. If you only lose one game <laughs> all yeah. season, uh-huh. like. Yeah, you, you expect to get something at the end of it to show for it. Um, but, uh, yeah, they've been good to watch. That's the thing for me. Yeah. They've, they've been, all their games have been entertaining. Yeah, um, Like that front three, Firmino, Mane and Salah. Mm-hmm. It's just, yeah, it's good fun to watch. And like you say, you've got Robertson and Alexander-Arnold going around the outside of them. and right. They've just been entertaining. And that's, that's what the league needed. Someone right. to go up against City and give them a run. The, and so most people in England hate the Liverpool. Yeah. And they hate Liverpool because of the fans. Yes. So you don't feel that way. I do a little bit. I'm just trying to be diplomatic. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm glad City won. Put it that way. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, um, yeah, I was having I have some of my very good friends are Liverpool fans, and uh, they're still very good friends. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll see how much they gloat if they actually win something, <laughs> but. I asked, you know, we're having this conversation when there are like 13 games to go. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, if you guys win your 13 games, you'll win the league. Because there's no way City's winning all 13. That's what I thought. But they actually, I mean, so what City did was crazy, but, you know, no shame being. What they both Liverpool. did was crazy. Yeah. I, I think I would have felt bad for Liverpool if they didn't win that game against Barcelona midweek. Mm-hmm. I would have felt bad that they didn't win the league. But mm. because they were already you know. counted out yeah. of the Champions League. Yeah. But listen, even if they, I think they were in the Champions League, but even if they don't win, like, I just can't feel, even Klopp said it. And it's kind of blasphemous because you need silverware. But mm. that win against Barcelona, like, even if they win Spurs in the Champions League final, which they will, <laughs> 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 right? <laughs> It's almost anticlimactic. Like yeah. you, sh- yeah. but there should the be thing. a trophy. There but should that, just be a trophy. When you beat Barcelona, for just for, for just for, for 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 coming back from some shit like that. No, I mean, the trophy is there in the heads, right? They got every, all of us saying that they deserve a respect, right? So yeah, this is one of the only times because I like the whole because in uh, in the Mexican league they always have playoffs. Right. Doesn't matter, and it's fucking mm. horrible because mm. the top team always gets eliminated right off the bat. Oh, <laughs> this right. is one of the only times where I'm like, can we have a little playoff, <laughs> a little a little final? We'll give uh, it yeah, to Man yeah. City, but can you guys play each <laughs> other to see how bad you guys really want it? Yeah. It's one of those times where I'm like, I'd be down to see a little like a little final, where yeah, just them two. That'd yeah. be kind of. I, th- I think they deserve it. We kind of one of those things where I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'd watch it. Like a best of three final? Yeah, something, something like that. that. Yeah. <laughs> best of three. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Chelsea's season? I mean, we our target was to qualify for Champions League, and we did that. I thought Sari left it way too late because <laughs> I kept <laughs> craving about it every match week that I'm fed up of watching this substance. Because we had, a, in my book, we had a we didn't have a great squad, but we had a good enough squad to you know not be completely exposed but he kept playing the same underperforming senior players till match week 30 i think we lost to everton and then he made some changes i thought that was too late but of course like arsenal slipped up united slipped up spurs slipped up so Mm -hmm. it turned out it wasn't too late but i feel i mean it's let's see if we can win uh the f- the final the Europa League final, but uh, so if you win if you win a Europa League final, you think that'll be a big, good thing for you? Well, it would. I mean, it I'm doesn't really mean I'm just much. Asking you. No, I mean for me, the target of the season has been met. So anything n- th- that final is a bonus, mm-hmm. and you know, silver. But you don't want to. You don't want to lose it to Arsenal. No, 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 of course not. Yeah, we want to win that. You're gonna celebrate final. it like you won the league. Uh, <laughs> no, no. For me. The fact that you're playing at Europa League final means something has gone terribly wrong <laughs> with you <laughs> as a club. You, Chelsea as a club shouldn't be playing Europa Leagues and competing for Europa Leagues. So snobs. But it, now that you're in there, you know, you're in it to win it. So. What, do you, what do you think, Lee? Uh, about Chelsea? Yeah. This um, I think 
I'm more interested in what they do next season now because like Sarri came over from Napoli like he had a really yeah. bold way of playing over there mm. yeah. and he's found out that it doesn't you know it's yeah. not that easy here <laughs> I mean um, they besides <laughs> he's third mm. the only teams that beat him were by coaches that have coached three years at least in the league before in the same league and yeah. we've beaten so them too third. Well, I mean, like in one-on-one -on -one games. Yeah. Like some of those games were disasters, though. Like Bournemouth. Yeah. Was well, Bournemouth and City back to back. Yeah. And I think f I was just really. Are they going to even keep sorry? No, they're going to keep sorry. Yeah. yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. But like, there were certain things. Like every team knew that when the centre backs had the ball, mm -hmm. they'd try to go into Jorginho. And yeah. Teams just switched onto that. Like the Bournemouth game, they didn't press the centre backs. They dropped both there because they play four four two Bournemouth. Yeah. They dropped uh -huh. both the forwards onto mm. Jorginho. Let the centre backs have the ball, mm. and yeah. then just pressed. And yeah, it Jorginho definitely got exposed. But to his credit, he has come back. Like mm. the last yeah. Yeah, ten games, break he's him. he's actually done all those things that we were you know saying that he's getting exposed. He's he's putting in those those tackles and mm. he's improved defensively there and it's his so first year in the league so then yeah. next year he'll yeah. be better how old is he he's around 27 I guess. Oh, man. and Can Kante has grown into the more advanced role that I Sarri's like him asked in that him to role. play I you know, do? I get, I, I, you I hated him in that fucking role no 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 no, no. I <laughs> like that him in you? that role that wasn't me <laughs> hey, maybe that was mine uh, who, who, would, right. who do you think is best with those two with Jorginho and Kante because he's going to play those two Ruben Loftus-Cheek he yeah. is in my book the most talented English midfielder and he's like a cheat code midfielder. That's why I like him because it's very rare to find somebody who has that amount of physicality with the finesse. Finesse, he got finesse. Mm. It's uh, and and you yeah, know the pace he can do. He can do do it all. The yeah. first time I seen him come on the field as a Chelsea sub, maybe two and a half years ago, his yeah. first two touches, I was like, who the fuck is that guy? Mm. And everybody's using him wrong. Conte tried to play him, play him as a striker yeah. up front. I'm like, dude, that's not his game. He's not. Gonna what is his game? His game is that box-to-box -box midfielder. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, and he's added. I don't think he's things. that mobile. Well, he's well, he doesn't. He's not the kind of guy who's gonna be you know diving into challenges. Not like a Gerard or Lampard kind mm -hmm. of guy, but he just on sheer physicality itself, mm -hmm. he doesn't need to be that kind of guy. He's kind of more languid, but he when you see him run with the ball. Mm -hmm. It, it starts. I haven't seen him run with the yeah. ball. I, I still don't think he's even come close to his potential yet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, this like is you look at like Kovacic and and yeah. Barkley. I think they've like yeah, their, their ceiling. Yeah, their yeah. ceiling so yeah. low. But you look at that's why I keep saying that Sari's managed to get us to third while underutilizing our resources because Lovstig hasn't even played a thousand minutes in the league. Right, he's had like seven or eight starts. Barkley and Kovacic have got way more minutes in that mm. same position than him. So, let me ask you a question. Where do you think you're going to finish next year? Are you losing Hazard? We are definitely losing Hazard. So, yep. where do you think you're going to be So, it's, it's almost one in, one out, isn't it? You've got Pulisic coming in, Hazard going out. Well, Pulisic, that's the thing. Pulisic, I don't think, was ever meant to replace Hazard. Mm. But that's I what the, everybody's perception is, and that's yeah, going to put a lot of pressure yeah. on him. Because you can't buy anyone now. Well, so the band's holding up. Yeah, they, they lost the appeal. So well, they lost oh. the appeal, but the good thing about losing the appeal with FIFA was FIFA was trying to kind of like set a precedent mm. uh, uh, with Chelsea, set an example with Chelsea. So they were not looking at the precedent of where they froze the ban for Atletico Madrid, Barca, and Real Madrid. Yeah. So now what Chelsea's done is, okay, you've made your call. Now you go to the Court of Arbitration yes, for yes, Sport. Yes, yeah. You go to uh, where? The Court of Arbitration for Sport. Yeah, it's in Switzerland. It's the, yeah, I guess. Yeah. So the so the hope is that CAS is not obliged mm -hmm. to f to the FIFA line of thinking. Yeah, they're, an they're more of body. a legal okay. body, yeah. so they're gonna look at stuff like precedent, and the transfer ban is gonna get frozen. But we'll know in the next one or two weeks. So they're gonna ban the ban. That's what you're. They're gonna happen. freeze the ban till the appeal <laughs> is heard. <laughs> <laughs> it's so a hail ban the ban. It's a hail mary. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but you need to, you need to make some additions. So I hope this hail mary yeah. doesn't work like Higuain. Yeah. Well, he he's that's a a two season loan as well, isn't it? You've got him. No, no, no. I it's a six it's a month initial loan oh, with okay. an option to extend. Yeah, I wouldn't extend. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> but uh, then again, is Higuain? I know he's older, mm. but was it just like he needed more time to acclimate? I don't think the Premier maybe League it's him. just not worth taking that risk yeah. okay. for another I don't, I don't season. Think, I don't think him and the Premier League is a, a good a match. match. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we need three players. If we get three, well, like a striker. Get? A striker? 
a right winger, and a left back. I think we're good. All right. You definitely need a striker. Yeah. Why wouldn't you want... How do you guys play? You need... You say a, a four, striker. Two, three. Mm. Yeah. 4-2-3. Four, 4-3-3, three. Four, three, three. yeah. Because you complained about... What's the dude with the afro? And William. And, and Pedro not scoring? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Do you do you play them for scoring just the way Liverpool plays Mane? I mean, I think the, in the modern game, for scoring? in the modern game, you can't have a forward that's not scoring. Mm. You have to have. Well, it. I mean, that's Chelsea's William main and Pedro problem. Are good, uh, they're good players, but they're not as dynamic as Salah and Mane. Right. Yeah. they're nowhere near. As and dynamic. they've never no. been anywhere close right. to that kind yeah. of. And, and I know that, but what's their system? The, is their system demand that they need these two to score, or you just need a forward like when they had a, a what's his name? That's now at Atletico Madrid. Oh, Diego Costa. And yeah. then they won the league with that. Is, well, it, is your setup? But if you see that season, Pedro mm -hmm. did score a bunch of mm. goals. Conte Six. had a different system though, because yeah. he had Costa as the nine, then he had yeah. two. He had Hazard and yeah. And well, Julian or I think the front line is very Pedro similar. Is yeah, sort of yeah, two behind that could move. Right. So we definitely need something because what what keeps happening is teams they double down on the left hand side where Hazard is. Because they know they can let the ball go to the right hand side. Nothing's ever going to come off it. Wow, you're disrespectful, so. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just disrespectful. <laughs> what do you think of Spurs season since you're a Spurs fan? You finished fourth with 71 points. I mean, we tied the last game, which I know they didn't give a fuck about. They're all, all about <laughs> Champions, Champions League, League right now. now. That's all they care right now. I mean, I don't blame them, of course. That's all. But, I mean, and I didn't, I didn't expect to win. Like I didn't expect to get first or second place. Yeah, that's for sure. Right. So finishing above Arsenal is a trophy for you guys, huh? isn't it? <laughs> like, is this two seasons in a row now that you yeah. finished above Arsenal? Yeah. Can you see it happening? Do you like? Are you? Can you like? Talking about Champions visualize, League. Visualize about it Champions now? League. Yeah, it's that's just, all they can do is visualize. Yeah. It's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought we would have a better chance with Barcelona. Because oh, really? they're a different team. Since we don't pull, we don't Did, ever play them. It'd be more like we a, played them earlier in the season in the group stages, right? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't yeah, they, they beat did, you? Yeah. No, they got a draw, I think, in, and they uh, lost. in the new camp. Yeah, but I think we just play better with someone we we don't play with as often because they don't know. Because oh, they don't know your system. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm trying to say. Because Liverpool, I mean, they know what's up. As much as yeah, I think we're yeah, going to yeah. win, they know what's up. <laughs> well, it could work both ways. Like, you guys know this stuff, too. I mean, yeah. And we, I mean, oh, I want to see how self aware you are. You notice every time you say, we're going to win, <laughs> everybody <laughs>, laughs at you. That's fine. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, to, you, to their credit, people have been laughing at Spurs for a while and they're in the Champions League final. So. It's never going to yeah. stop. <laughs> and I mean, Liverpool thought they weren't going to win for Barcelona, yeah. and that happened. No, nah, Liverpool, crazy. Liverpool no, went no, out there with the right three zero. Now Yeah, they the did. How, how did uh, uh, Salah had the shirt. What did it say? Oh, never give up. Never yeah. give up. Yeah. And Klopp. Well, but you know what's interesting about that, though? He mm. had a jacket on. So he could zip it up anytime he like, wanted. Yeah, he was like, just <laughs> he what he was doing. Yeah. There was one point he was like, oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I've always wondered what when like when those when people score and they have things to do. I'm like, well, what uh, if yeah, you yeah. don't score? You just had that the whole fucking yeah, time, yeah, like yeah, a mask, yeah. or you know, when they pull out the mask, or they have the shirt of their mom, and their yeah. birthday. I was like, did you just get that done for no reason? Obviously, <laughs> yeah, you you'll never know. The amount of players that had some shit hidden yeah. just in case yeah. they scored <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't score yeah. so you never see what it is <laughs> just when they're walking off the field at the end of the game they just reach down and grab something and slide it under <laughs> yeah. the shirt and walk into the locker like why is he going to that flagpole and the locker room is that way right. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get that thing that he buried i think my favorite one this year did you see the balotelli celebration oh the white white limi oh where he, he, he scored and then he ran there was a guy waiting oh, he behind did the, the selfie. goal that had his phone and oh. he did an Instagram story. Yeah, he oh. went live on Instagram. Oh, that's very yeah, But like, I was like, how many how many games has that guy been behind the goal? For? <laughs> Just holding his Finally, phone. Finally, <laughs> thousands of dollars paid off. <laughs> shit. That's funny. There's one thing I want to say about Klopp as a coach. Like, as a coach, when you, you're, you're trailing basically a Man City team for an entire season and you go switching, trading back and forth, and so you kind of know this team is keeps winning when you win and they're staying ahead of you. And then you go down three in the Champions League final in the new camp to say, to have the right philosophy in a situation when you're looking uphill is very important. And, every, and to have perspective, like when they lost to Barcelona, he said, we outplayed them. 
You know what I mean? We outplayed them. The the score and the result does not reflect how yeah, the game it was, went. It wasn't a three 0 yeah. game. But the first leg. but to not like like but he set the tone for how that game was sore mm. in the in the interview, and he set the tone for that in the locker room, so that when his players had to face this uphill battle, they believed that they could win. Yeah. I, I think it's too English to al- to already go in there defeated. Yeah. Mm. And it's and it's and it's just any any language to be like fuck. And also Klopp, you know what I mean? Club unlike Pep like to your point about like getting that belief in the team. Mm-hmm. Uh like Pep has a team which has a whole bunch of people who have won things in the past. This Liverpool team nobody has won anything right. in the past. Except for just Milner, all Southampton players, except for Lee players, except for Milner, who you know won with City. Right. So he's had. So he's been the only winner in that dressing and, and room. And if your only winner <laughs> is Milner, who <laughs> I who I a thousand percent respect, like he's, I saw him in a locker room after that uh, Barcelona game, and this yeah. motherfucker's built like a boxer. Yeah. Like, he's built like a Klitschko. <laughs> like he's just ripped like he's he's yeah. like 40 and in shape and just well, can go in any game he, and he, just ready to run man and it, <laughs> like he might have been the player man city thought wasn't good enough to be on their team but yeah. actually is when they gave him up yeah he's a good squad player yeah for any yeah. team in the league yeah yeah but top team too mm. yeah. Yeah, that, that's a lot of credit to club to get that le- group of players believing that you can go all the way Mm-hmm. And have these kind of seasons get to back to back Champions League finals. Yeah, and, and not I be down Pep's that job. you didn't win the league, and yeah, still yeah. like mm. like all that time every week. You're you win, then Man City wins. You win, then Man yeah. City wins, and to keep your team up there, and then you lose to three nothing to Barcelona, and to be like to say whatever you say, and to be honest about it, and to be like because a lot of people I live in L.A. and somebody just has a bad audition or something. They're like, I'm so gutted. Okay, and it's just you just uh, like just 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 the the honest, just a good perspective, man. That's what you need in this world, just for anything for anybody. You're saying is we all need a club in our lives. Yes, we do. That's <laughs> why I'm gonna feel bad when they lose to Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's laughing again. Oh, right? he, he's like, you're even laughing. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> those skills would really come in handy when they lose to Spurs. It's gonna be interesting though. Like, I I personally think that Pochettino is more. <clears throat> Tactically, Superior. sort of flexible and yeah, yeah, tactically flexible. Yeah. that's what I'm worried about. Then Klopp, Klopp's got one way of doing things, right. and if it works, it's great. And it has been this season because he's had the players to carry it out. But right. I think Pochettino's smarter; he can make little changes in game. Right. He can switch their system and the way they play. And mm. but you know what though, Pochettino's players switch off. Mm. Klopp's don't. He's wounded those up all season. They lost one game, and. Th- they're gonna go out there like uh, uh, there is a fear that he could get out tactic tid tid it it but just, Wait, uh, all Liverpool got to go out there and is play their game a thousand percent mm. there's nothing Spurs can do Wait, is is Harry Kane gonna be back for well, the final it says he's supposed to be back I'm literally I'm Wait, looking but, that but up right you, now. Is, is, yeah. There's a theory that I don't Spurs like them. actually we play better without yeah, him. Without Kane. Son, there's a son because Sun steps it up. up. Yeah, yeah. Hey, question as well. if he, if he really is, stepped it up against Everton yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. If Kane is yeah. fit though, do you, do you play him? Do you play him from the start or do you have him as a sub? Because like there was that final Atletico Madrid had where they played Costa. Costa when and he then was he was fucked. Yeah, and he came off after a few minutes, didn't he? But then at least you can put your sub in. If you bring him on and he's fucked, oh yeah, and you have to waste you, another sub right. getting him off. Um, it's it's an interesting one. Personally, if I was them, I would keep him on the bench and just throw him on as a hail mary. Because yeah, to. Lucas Moura is doing this, doing yeah. his stuff. You know, yeah. you like how they didn't really go up to him on the second goal. What do you mean? When he scored the second goal, it's kind of like oh, he scored. A yeah, second yeah, goal. I mentioned oh, that yeah, on yeah, the podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what's up with that? Oh wait, like Mora? Yeah. Yeah, his second goal. I think it was more they wanted to get the ball back. And Nobody was trying to get the ball yeah, back. They, it's just like first they was uh, unsure if it counted. Mm. Yeah. And then nobody rushed them. You just scored the second goal and now we have a shot at something. It looked weird. kinda it looked kinda <laughs> very that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It looked very like kinda like, uh, he scored yeah. a second goal. I'm like, mm. hey fuckers, you guys got it's the hands. It's huge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then the third that. goal, oh. Then, then, then the third goal. Everyone's trying to unbutton his pants and yeah, shit. Yeah, it was yeah. like, relax. Well, Larice did like a 100 yard dash <laughs> yeah, in the, right. to the other yeah. end of the field. They were fi- all of them were fighting the blow him. Yeah, was, right? <laughs> 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 that was. <laughs> Elbows. That was. So guys, take a line up. If you're classy, there's a crowd watching. <laughs> 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 Only for a hat trick, though. Two goals yeah. in a row. Only for a hat trick. Hey, I mean, you are in Amsterdam. You yeah, might yeah. as well get one in. Yeah, it's like the one man red light district <laughs> right. after he put that third one in. <laughs> well, I mean, that was inexperienced from Ajax mm. to have. You know that second half, the way they played it was. They didn't manage. It the looked game, did great. They? Like uh, at various points, I was like, "Man, they're playing so pretty," but that's not how you close out a yeah. Champions League same final. But mm-hmm. again, that was another one where Pochettino was smart. He yeah. he changed the way they played. He brought Lorente on, and uh, yeah, he used the not, I didn't it's like not, that. Move. It's not pretty. What it, it's not pretty. Yeah. What they it did, gets the but job it was done. effective. You know what he's like? It's like. He, he went full Mourinho. You just, mm. just, yeah, he just went full on. You just put him in the way. Yeah. He's like, he's not going to control the ball, yeah. but the ball, ball might bounce off him well, see, to that's your player. with Laurenti, I mm. never understood because he was told to be this, you know, he was born to be a target man. Mm-hmm. Uh, like when Spurs actually got him, Conte really wanted him at Chelsea. Mm. But, the, you know, I think we didn't want to pay some money and they got him. But he's not really like the kind of target man who'll hold a play, get the right. header really good. It kind of goes s- everywhere with his <laughs> headers. Yeah. But it's somehow effective. Yeah, because this weekend, yeah. some he he headed a ball in on the Everton net. It came out and it hit some other player and another player put it in. Mm. Like, he's mm-hmm. there. He's... he's it's, I think if they, if they try that against Liverpool, though, Van Dijk will eat him up. Yeah. In the All air. Right. In <laughs> the air, yeah. Yeah. Unless they sort of shift him onto whoever the other centre-back is right. and try and bully them, maybe. But, but you can't... Listen... Uh, not that you can't, but everybody's giving uh, Van Dyke credit for solid solidifying the Liverpool defense. But you know who nobody's really talking about? Matip mm-hmm. has been really amazing. Second half of the season, yeah, he's yeah, come in. Yeah. He was sort of out in the cold a little Gomez bit. Gomez was, and then injured, Gomez got so hurt. Yeah. Then he put him, and then it was a different dude. Yeah. Like there's so many different dudes this this year. Like Matip was a different dude. Mm. Sissoko for. Mm-hmm. Spurs was a different dude. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I just, uh, Wijnaldum, I, he's been coming, but yeah. a different dude. Wijnaldum has been. Wijnaldum has been exceptional. Like, exceptional. Yeah. 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 I think he saw the Cater signing as almost like a challenge. Like, oh shit, I need to, yeah. I need to step it up. Yeah. yeah. But that's, that's what. And Fabino, they signed two centre midfielders. Right. Yeah. So, th- 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 everything, it, a part of what is the great coaching of Pep, like they interviewed Raheem Sterling and they asked him, how does the team stay so motivated after you won last year? And he said, mm-hmm. there's competition for your exactly. spot yeah. every week. Yeah. And you just want to play. So the pressure of Man City was not to stay up with Liverpool. It was each individual player. Like, I don't want this motherfucker taking my spot yeah. on yeah. Sunday. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like, I'm going to ball out. So it's like, no it's, a, it's a more friendlier type of pressure that takes your mind off the real yeah. pressure. It's not as friendly as you win. think. I have my, one of my homies, yeah. I, he, he played pro for a little bit. He literally says, you're not homies with the other defenders. Oh, you're yeah, not yeah. homies with your left defender because that guy's trying to take your spot, it's which luck. means he's yeah. trying to take your money, homie. Mm. Yeah. That's that's the way the game is. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It's not homies. It's not high school. We're like, hey, what's up, buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's like that fool's trying to, and if not, that guy's trying to take your homie spot because you also yeah. got your forward. That guy's your homie because mm-hmm. yeah. you obviously don't play the same position. But then you got this guy that's coming in and you're roughing him up because you mm-hmm. don't want, you want your homie on the squad still because you guys yeah. are homies. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. not, a, right. you're right. It is a competition between each other. Yeah. Your, your friend sounds really insecure. But yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's not pro anymore. He's not, he's yeah, not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I kind of yeah. had a feel, that was my next question. Yeah. Yeah. I think it depends though, there's a mix. Like, I hope being yeah. listening. Yeah. Like you do hear yeah. like. Just yeah. joking, bro. Like this year, City and Liverpool, they do genuinely look like as a group they're really together together yeah they do you do hear stories of some other teams where in the dressing room it is like there are people that genuinely hate each other there were were rumors about Mane and Salah not getting along Mm. Mane not passing to Salah I can see that that. I've I've seen that on the field look at that that tells you why they don't get along like I was telling you they're competing against each other listen man (laughs) both competing I've seen that on the field and I was like something's not right with these two (laughs) so what rumors did you hear because I saw that shit I mean the the, the crux of it is is me the crux of it is when a ball is there to be squared to Salah Mane doesn't do it 
often enough. I saw that shit. Man. And well, I guess I mean for now that it's helping the team. Yeah, you know? I felt like. And you see when they celebrate, everybody's jumping on top of <laughs> Salah. And Salah takes I his time to go really to Mane and vice versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've yeah. seen that all season. But uh, what I th- think happened was Sadi Mane was there a year before Ma- Sa- Sa- Salah. Salah. And yeah. he was like, this was going to be. So the next year, he was like, this is going to be my year. And then mm, Salah came in and just blew the charts off. Yeah. yeah. And I think Saudi got competitively healthy jealous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And was just like, Fuck this shit. Now, well, now I, I know this shit could happen. Well, if I'm, I'm going to go for mine. Well, if I'm club, I'm going to Sadio Mane's room every morning and slipping in a newspaper article of Salah being the top dog. <laughs> <laughs> I want Sadio Mane's competitive juices to work for my team. Mm-hmm. That's, that's crazy that both of them got 22 goals and they're yeah. not even the center forward either. They're both yeah. wide players. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's the, and that's the uh, so Mohamed Salah. So there's a three way golden boot tie. Yep. That's Salah it. takes I mean, it on assist, so yeah. I, I, if you're gonna decide. go like that, so yeah, so Mane, you fucked up. You should have had some assist. Like damn, one assist. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> How many did he have last year? Probably way more. And he's like, I'm not passing that ball to that dude. <laughs> exactly. Do you want to pass it to Salah so he can score and then up lead you? I'm telling you, it's back to a that, fucking that competition. One, that one Mane assist was probably a shot that got saved and someone uh, else yeah. scored. Yeah. That, that counts yeah. as well. So. <laughs> yeah. He's probably upset about that one assist. <laughs> <laughs> that should be my goal. Pass yeah. it back. That could have been 23. Yeah. Assist wouldn't matter. No no assist. Assist. 23 and no assist. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, so Arsenal season, do they have a lot of work? Mm. Should they keep their coach? I think they're definitely going to keep their coach. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah. And they have, it's, it's similar, like, they have a lot of holes too, but a lot of holes of theirs get, ca- get hidden because of two strikers who were able to almost score a I don't think their, their mm-hmm. holes are hidden. They, their holes are glaring to me. Yeah, but they would have been much worse if they didn't have at least one of those two up front scoring goals. I mean, they have a terrible yeah. team. Obama Yang is just legit. Any league you put him in. Mm. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. see his second goal? Against yes. Oh the cross to the back post. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was From yeah, Iwobi? Yeah. yeah, great uh, finish. Yeah, it's like, goalkeeper, just get out the way. Mm. What are you doing? Don't he, he did. He went <laughs> he sort of like hit behind <laughs> the post. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want that. Yeah, hide behind and hide your kids. Hide your wife. <laughs> <laughs> just get the fu- That's like Daenerys' dragon coming through. <laughs> get the fuck out the way of those flames, bro. You would have been... Scorched. What's um, what's everyone's opinion on Ozil? Well, I mean, it's it's the same same flavor every year, every yeah. season. Nothing's really changed. He's like, I remember this. Like, I follow a lot of cricket too, and there's this England spinner, mm-hmm. Monty Panesar, and the legendary spinner Shane Warne. He said this about him: like, he's not played 50 games. He's played the same game 50 times, <laughs> and that's what I feel about Ozil. Like, his game has not improve at all <laughs> he's it stayed at that level for like a good ever since he joined arsenal pretty much i got one question yeah what's a spinner a spinner is a player who puts <laughs> no nah, no you're talking yeah <laughs> he's 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 the it's like what, what would the equivalent that be in american baseball like a like a like the guy who b- bolts like the curves uh, like the curve ball yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. also there's a different pitcher for different styles oh, of pitch. okay styles so of it's not like in okay so the I curve mean, yeah. is like yeah. somebody might be an expert at the curve and then there's the, not the other type of baseball uh, pitching so you know what's coming though the speed ball the fast ball and the curve ball yeah i went so. to the dodgers on sunday and i did yeah. not know what was going on oh yeah yeah, yeah. i left after 90 minutes because that's as yeah. long as i watched <laughs> sport for <laughs> so, right, <laughs> so, right. you left in a soccer amount of time and let's go to man U. What y'all think? Manny's got trouble, but that's the, here's the thing. About <laughs> Why do Manu. we have trouble? No, uh, the reason you have trouble is you haven't fixed the main thing that's been a trouble since Ferguson left. Mm-hmm. So Ferguson left, and so that was the main trouble. Ferguson mm-hmm. left. No, but Ferguson left without having a core leadership uh, group in their prime in the team, and right. that's continued. So it's basically just been a disjointed team ever since, and no manager or even the club has tried to fix that. It should have been like when when David De Gea, uh, that whole fax machine thing happened with Madrid, mm-hmm. and he didn't go, right. and he signed a contract, he mm-hmm. should have been made club captain. And then you try and buy players that can fix, you know, in each 
quarter of the pitch fix those leadership roles you guys just have too many people who are just not good enough anymore Ex- uh, yeah we don't have like lingard might be not be good enough these are all people i like but let's let's, let's lingard might not be good enough i still kind of believe as matic but like as a backup herrera andres herrera and herrera is leaving mm. but i think matter's going as well matter has not been go. announced love your matter yeah, but you got to go yeah <laughs> scott matamani he's young he should be like the 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 guy that can take the position of somebody who's a professional and better and made for the position that you know he should be threatening somebody for a spot mm. not have the spot uh, that's fred like you had a season i mean it was not pretty do you think pogba's going to go so here's my whole issue it's like hey man he might leave because yeah. the ex players from man you keep shitting on him mm. Mm. and it's like you're not being honest guys you're not being honest this you, you're talking about they keep saying stuff like he hasn't done it in a man you shirt listen man mm. he, you came second last year and the year before you won the europa league and you won the league cup you won the europa league because when you came to man you that's what they were in that's the competition they were in yeah and he's your best player they didn't give him that award at the end of the season mm. y- you know and they just keep on shitting on this mm. guy and it's like why would i stay like you think i don't know my value i just won a world cup uh, before i played yeah. for juventus and we won a bunch of shit and we went to final like you're gonna tell me uh, a bunch of ex-players from man you're gonna tell me i'm not good when the people none of those players like Skulls wouldn't have had a great career if he didn't if he have in a great team. if he wasn't in a great yeah. team. Mm. And he had the same manager as Keen, yeah. all them guys, th- you know, they like you had mm. great pieces. Like it's th- the pieces they had, you can't even compare what we have now to those. Yeah. So you can't you're not being honest when you shit on Park, but it's like like Skulls are talking about he does all these fancy tricks for himself. He's not. Yeah. He's trying to get space. Because nobody's fucking there. Mm. And be honest, like, why do you hate this dude so much? So it's no, I such think a personal thing between the players. I think it's just the, to old, hate him. the old school guys don't exactly. like young players. Who, they don't like fast cars. Who, who are on they Instagram like, and yeah, things like, like that. Yeah, so get over. That's not. Yeah. He's doing yeah. his job. He has the assist and yeah. the goals to prove it. Yeah, judge him objectively. Judge it's, him. Obje- yeah. It's not being judged objectively. Mm. So he might leave most of all because the <clears throat> up the 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 the. the 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 organization of Man U is not being run right. He's yeah. been to places where organizations have been run right, yeah. and then he's getting this outside shit mm. that's the dishonest from players that I loved when they played, but are being completely dishonest as pundits mm. do you, and do you shitting think on him because he's like being on Instagram. Even like from a selfish point of view, like just for his personal career point of view, he would want to leave because he's not. He's like what twenty six, twenty seven now. Yeah, right. You're pushing him into the arms of the team you don't want him to go to and trust me if yeah. he goes to real madrid he's going to be fucking good and the reason why he's going to be fucking good is because he is fucking good and they're going to put good mm-hmm. players to play next to him and yeah. then you're going to say why can you do that in a man you shirt but you know why the fuck he couldn't do that in a man you shirt mm-hmm. so stop pushing him out the door yeah stop pretending he's skulls out. keen every <laughs> fucking body Sunez, who's a fucking liverpool ex-coach play everybody who's shitting on him man you be know the, objective know the, the one man ex manchester united player who can actually take his side he needs to come to the media david beckham uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> he would be uh-huh. like yeah you need to be more on instagram <laughs> like yeah. i can't yeah <laughs> can't wait uh-huh. to see your next hairstyle ferguson hated that though well, that was yeah, yeah, ferguson, yeah, 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 yeah he got rid ferguson of ferguson hated the celebrity yeah. of him yeah. kind of yeah. thing he was a circus everywhere he went so i mean but that's why connor's where he's at it's being a celebrity. I mean, it's part of the game now. That's yeah. why. Who's yeah. where he's at? Connor McGregor when he was on. Oh, he's being yeah. annoying. He's being an that. asshole. Just yeah. being stupid. Which yeah, like you know, Beckham's performance never really dipped though. Even after he left United, he was still quality. Yeah, he's still Real quality. Madrid. Yeah. He was Madrid. amazing. Yeah, and like even when he was doing like the bit part stuff at like AC Milan and stuff, he yeah. was still class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like he was a guts player. Like mm. he used to run the whole fucking field. He was box mm. to box. Like you could not be. You know, like, yeah. But, hey, man, like, Pogba, you know, like there's there's moments when he does things wrong, he loses the mm-hmm. ball, and he, you know, but it's like, why would I play for these people, you, you know, mm-hmm. who are shitting on me? It, 
Like see, I, so basically what you're saying is United is pushing them, pushing, pushing Pogma, like uh, how, uh. how everybody is pushing Daenerys mm-hmm. to the edge <laughs> and she went they, mental they are, last night. Yeah, they are pushing him to the edge. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> and that's my fear. What do you think about Wolverhampton Wanderers? Oh, they finished seventh. Oh, oh, they, oh, they just I'm got promoted Wolves. to the Premier League. They're going to be in it. They, do they have the Europa League spot? Yeah. They yeah, that do. qualifier spot, yeah. Mm. They need to play the playoffs, but oh, okay. the qualifier, yeah. It's good for them. It's not good for them. Yeah. 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 Not, not, not Their little crazy. experiment with the uh, with the Portuguese uh, contingent as well, yeah. with George Mendes, mm-hmm. the agent. He's yeah. all the all the players they've got belong to him pretty yeah. much. Oh yeah. Because um, the the I think they're Chinese owners at Wolves, are sort of in partnership with him, and he's parked all his players there. So Neves, Jota, people like that. Are they going to stay yeah. next year or are they going to get bored apart? Well, I think the original plan was to put them in Wolves as a sort of shot window for them. Um, mm. So then bigger in clubs the come League, and pick them yeah. off. Uh, that was what they do because then Mendes gets a huge cut of the fee when they join a bigger club. Yeah. But the fact that Wolves have done so well, he might not move them. <laughs> At least but another Unless season. he's just thinking yeah. about, fuck it, I want this money. Mm. And then the yeah. owners are like, hey, we want this team. So then there might be a fight. Yeah, there might be eventually. Yeah. Um, it's it's worked out for them so far. They, I mean, they got promoted comfortably. Um, yeah. And then this year they've, yeah, I mean, they've, they've not looked out of place right. at all. But that's what happens when you've got players of the quality they brought in. Right. Um, and that's the thing. It's like, why can't Man U get this? I mean, to be honest, they're not, they might not be better than Man U players, mm. to be honest. Well, they've done well. They've they just, there's, done, there's they just done well for them. And I don't yeah. want to confuse them doing well for them. And just being taken it personal yeah. and dissing Man U. <laughs> it's nine it's points away. Yeah, nine yeah, points nine, away. Nine that's that's sizable. I'd rather be in sixth than Wolves in seventh. I, mean, I, I was being slightly disrespectful to Wolves as well, though, because it's not just the Portuguese imports that have done well. Like, you look mm. at players like Connor Cody, who used to be a mm. centre midfielder at Liverpool's youth team. Mm-hmm. They converted nice. him to a centre back, and he's been amazing. Uh, right. Doherty as well yeah. has been one of the best defenders in the league, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, they've done it with guys like that who've come up with them from the championship as well um, right. so yeah it'd be interesting to see whether they sustain it next year because right. they've been interesting tactically this year as well they played a 3-4-3 three, three mm-hmm. for yeah. some games um, and whether teams figure that out next year mm-hmm. um, and they might slip they might do a Burnley <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah well but I feel like they knows? have Burnley was kind of an um, outfit in the like, like it, they weren't really fitting in to the modern game, mm. I feel Wolves. The throwback. Have, yeah, it was like, <laughs> what's this kind of? We haven't seen yeah. this kind of football in a while. But I feel Wolves has more of the tools to you know mm. build on this and keep, especially and yeah. the, the match is great. Do they have money? Uh, yeah, they have they got decent Chinese owners, so they yeah. could buy. Yeah. They could like strengthen their position. They could upgrade, yeah. And they've yeah. signed um, Jimenez, the striker, Jimenez, the Mexican yeah. striker, on a permanent deal because he was on loan from Benfica, and he's been yeah. brilliant this season. Right. Um, they might lose that guy, Ruben Neves, though. Yeah. City wants mm. another midfielder for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> some reason. Like, I know City played Riyad Mahrez yesterday. And I'm like, who the fuck is that guy? And it's yeah. like, you forget that he, they haven't. And, and it's the only reason why. And he scored. And he mm. developed. Yeah. You know, it's just that there's no room. There's no room at the end. Well, yeah. then why did they get him? Like, we wanted him. We wanted him. <laughs> That's why they got him. him. Yeah, they've been stockpiling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, they've been stockpiling. Yeah, yeah. Like, Mourinho used to do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so Pep does it. What about Everton? Everton's been. They uh, came on strong to towards yeah. the end of the yeah, season. Yeah, because people were really unsure about Marco Silva. Uh, me yeah. too. Earlier on in the season. And then, yeah. yeah, he's just put together a good run of form. Right. Um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see how they get on next season as well. Because I think there's a lot of clubs who they've had like half seasons. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. Everton's one of them. Leicester yeah. with Rogers coming in as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, had a good end of the season yeah. uh, like Bournemouth went through a really bad spell and then picked up again a little bit um, and then dropped off a little bit yeah, like the like way Burnley have had half a season as well like yeah yeah. so Everton I think are in that boat it'll be interesting to see if they continue what they did Burnley went back to having mm. a bad half a season like the last three games is, are losses <laughs> but they've you know Burnley's just you know it's, I, I mean I guess it can happen they finish with like 40 points but let's, let me let me go down. Yeah, I quick. think like Leicester fifty two, West Ham fifty two, Watford fifty. What do you think of Watford season? They yeah, finished eleventh. I think they've been they've been decent. Um, they've got a lot out of not a limited squad, but uh, like they've not really got any 
huge stars there like De La Feu is a big name right but they've Dini. like they, there's players that have done really yeah, like Dini yeah mm-hmm. almost defies logic yeah. like he's <laughs> For still effective going, yeah. Premier League player yeah how old is he um, I think 32 33 oh yeah maybe now and he um, is in shape but he's come he's a, come right up through the leagues yeah. right before other like from the lower league just like Vardy yeah, yeah. and they have a FA Cup final mm. to play yeah, they have a yeah. FA Cup. What do you think of the chances in the FA Cup final versus Man City? Slim to none. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The City will have to have an enormous loss of interest. Yeah. Like, they'll have to have go on, like, a huge <laughs> drinking a binge. How would that happen? Two weeks. How would that even happen? <laughs> <laughs> they, they're competing for each other's spots. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Like, you know, for competing against hey, other teams. Oh, no. You're competing yeah. against your team. buying each other's shots. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna oh, buy yeah, you a yeah. shot trying to get the other four hung yeah. over a spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll take your shot. Hey, yeah, yeah. thanks. <laughs> Dab it. I'm burning out of silver. You're dabbing silver. <laughs> hey, man, thank you for the shot. Look over there, man. Look at that. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great, man. Now let me buy you a shot. <laughs> Spiking each other's <laughs> Spiking yeah, each other up. Yeah. I can't see him slipping up. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, yeah. No, there's no yeah. way. That so intensity on an yeah. inconsistent watch. But like they have, I was looking at the stat, like before the last game, City, I think for majority of their last 10 games, went into halftime nil nil. Mm. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of crazy because you don't think City would have those kind of starts to games. I, I just think teams circle the wagons. Mm. You know, mm. they, they got to the castle wall, loaded up all their arrows, you know, bolted up the doors and like, <laughs> let's, let's stop them. Not, you know, and then the City has to figure it out. Yeah. 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 Everybody wanted to be the asshole that tripped City or Liverpool up. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was the mark of a team that deserved to win the championship where they just, mm-hmm. they grind, they find a way to right. win. Whereas Liverpool, yeah, they've... Like, well, I, I went to watch when they played Southampton at St Mary's mm-hmm. and we, when we just sat in our own half and let Liverpool have the ball, they had nothing. Mm-hmm. Like, they couldn't break us down. Oh, but yeah. as soon as we tried to counter and, and then they, they won the, the ball, ball from on, you. They, on, on yeah. the counter press, yeah. That's where they they fucked us. Um, uh, I think teams have been maybe a little bit too open against Liverpool at times. Right. I mean, they still have to break teams down, but right. like it's a different way that they they get their goals than City. I think. I think City and Liverpool win the ball back so fast mm. that they have these mini half breaks inside of the opposing team's half. Yeah, that count, counter the counter. The, the counter of the counter is mm. you have less time to react if you're the team defending the counter mm. of the counter. You know what I mean? So it's like, I, I think that's what like Manu is missing too. Like just just almost sometimes if I'm a, I'm a City player, or I'm a Liverpool player and we can't break you down, I just give you the ball <laughs> and then <laughs> let you try to come out and then take that shit from you and you're in attack mode and we turn that shit around on you, boom, goal, mm. you know? I think sometimes that's just best to do. Crystal Palace, they kind of ended the season good, 49 points. They can't finish 12. They, they were at the bottom of the table most of the season, right? We're down yeah. there already, Palace. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. They, they, it's such a weird team, Palace. Yeah, right. In some games they looked they looked good, and then other games they just, yeah. It's, it's crazy the kind of job Roy Hud- Hudson's done. Mm. This is better than last year. He's yeah. improved. Yeah. Yeah, last mm. year they were trying to just but escape relegation. We mm. talked earlier about the value of having good fullbacks. They've got good fullbacks. Van Arnholt on the left um, gets up and down really well. And then Juan Bissaka. Yeah. <laughs> Not for long, baby. <laughs> <laughs> there's, 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 a, there's a dream. There's a, there's a, there's a myth that a Van Arnholt... Not Juan Bissaka. Juan Bissaka. Yeah, yeah they, they have good parts. Mm. They, yeah. You know, they surprise they have like... They, is it Townsend on it? Crystal yeah. Palace? Yeah. Townsend... Van and Zaha Hall. play either side of Zaha. either Batshuayi or Benteke yeah. or whoever. Yeah. And uh, Batshuayi scored some goals this weekend. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. That game, that game was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. It was a 4-5-3. Yeah. 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 It was like a sort of a kid's game where everyone wants to be a forward <laughs> and no, no one wants to be a defender. <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. It was fun to watch, but <laughs> it's, yeah. It felt unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of like an end of the season kick about. Yeah. yeah. That was, just, that just, was no like, rules. just go have fun. The coach yeah. is like on the sideline yeah. yelling, yeah, yeah, whatever, coach. You know, <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, Pat, work, goddamn yeah. ball. 5 3. That's the most like yeah. cliche final day of the season. Nothing yeah. to play for, scoreline. Right. Yeah. You're yeah, in the you middle get, of the table. Yeah. You're, you're not, there's no relegation. <laughs> you're just balling. Uh, Newcastle, think Benita's going to come back? 
It well, depends because like where can Mike, he Mike Ashley, from Mike Ashley's yeah. still there as well. Yeah. He's been trying to sell the club all year. He's not yeah. trying to sell that club. Um, <laughs> well, he's been on. telling people at least that he's trying to sell. Yeah. The but club. if you want to sell the club, you sell the club. Mm. Yeah. yeah, he's not trying to sell because the they'll have. The, if he's still there, they have the same problems next year. He won't. Benitez he won't, won't be get the funds. Any money, um, yeah. And he's done really well, I think, to get what he's got out of the squad they've got. Um, yeah. And to finish, you know, safe and sort of solid in the mid table. Um thirteenth, yeah. I mean if they don't spend that money and if they they could be in trouble next year because I don't know if they're gonna like Rondon I think's been really good for them, but he's only on loan from West Brom. Right. If they get promoted again, they might want him back. I don't know if there's an agreement there to buy. Right. Um mm. but Newcastle Wait, seem West like Brom aren't they already out? No. They're in the playoffs? Yeah, they're in the playoffs. They got they play uh, they lost Oh, Aston Villa. They lost 2-1 to Villa. Villa but yeah, then yeah. Tuesday, they got to play him again. Yeah. Dwight Gale got sent off for West Brom, yeah. Uh, yeah. which will hinder them a bit in the second leg. But right. yeah, Newcastle, Newcastle feel like the sort of team where if they don't buy many players and they get a couple of injuries to key players next year, they could be in real trouble. Yeah. Um, if, if I'm Benitez, the power's with me. Mm. Oh, 100%. I'm, yeah. I'm a coach that any team in the league, most teams in the league would want to have. Mm. And yeah. I feel like I bring down my value the longer I stay with this guy <laughs> who doesn't want to buy. <laughs> so I can get a job at a team higher up the league. You know what I mean? Like, he could get the Watford job, even though the Watford coach did it. He could get the Crystal Palace job, you know? Even though I wouldn't fuck with Crystal Palace. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe. He could get, like, people don't like Marco Silva that much. If he didn't end the season that strong, he could get I don't, I don't, I don't think he'd ever go to Everton. Why? Liverpool oh links. yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, All right. of... Players have done it. Why can't I? You know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's there's jobs available. Even if a team below that's gonna it's definitely spend, spend money. more money. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Maybe Southampton. <laughs> <laughs> Would you take him at Southampton? Not at the moment. I th- I'm yeah. r- I really like Hassan Hutl, but he yeah. right. he he is a manager that will leave us for something for better. Sure. Right. <laughs> He's going to leave like a player. But I like that because when, when when Mark Hughes is our manager, I'm like, this is only going to end in a sacking. Like yeah. a bigger club aren't going to come and take Mark Hughes off us. <laughs> yeah. It's going to end. It's going to end with unemployment. Um, <laughs> 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 And the, but like when we have Pochettino, it's like I know he's going to go somewhere better. Yeah. And yeah. That, I, I don't mind when we have managers like that, like Cumin, because they're, like, they're good. Yeah, Cumin's yeah. going to go somewhere. Same with players for us mm-hmm. as well. It's like yeah. if we've got players that you know they're doing well, and I'm like, okay, they're going to go somewhere. How do you guys deal with that? Because I'm a Man U fan, so we're not used to like <laughs> le- losing players. So how do, how do you really deal with that? Are you attached to them when they're there, um, or, or you just like like what is your overall? I th- I think people are because like. I think the the amount of hate that some players get when they come back mm-hmm. is the it shows how much it hurt people. Like oh, Lalana, when Lalana comes back, people yeah. boo him. Right. When Van Dyke came back, people booed him. <laughs> um, and I think it just because they had that bond with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As soon as they go, yeah, people are, people are pissed. <laughs> but they know you're a selling club. Yeah. It's not like mm. it's you're a showcase club. Yeah. You're the improv. <laughs> <laughs> you're the comedy store people come and do shows for $15 because they know there's going to be agents in the crowd and they're going to give you a big TV show so you keep going there and doing spots until NBC calls you know <laughs> or, or ABC calls or HBO you know what I mean comes and gives you a special yeah. I think that's what you guys are but I think I think the club accept that that's the model but fans fans are fans they still want to win yeah yeah fans are fans i I see it a little bit differently i i'm a bit more able to detach myself all right okay and so then burnley finished 15th bournemouth right above them southampton your team Mm. 16th what do you think of your season um I mean, we got Mark Hughes out just in time. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. if we'd have kept him for sort of past Christmas, we could have been in some real trouble. Right. Yeah. It's five points in trouble. Yeah, that's not a lot. Yeah, yeah. You you got less than the amount of points that you normally need to one point less than the amount you normally need to yeah. do to be safe. Yeah, but then, safe. like after we were mathematically safe, our games were terrible. Like I went to the West Ham game mm-hmm. away and we just didn't even show up I don't know if we would have played like that if we needed to get something from right. that game and the same with Huddersfield on the last day if we'd have won that we'd have gone above the 40 points right. but oh. the Huddersfield game I mean I watched it live but we, we didn't look like we needed to win it <laughs> right. you guys drew at Huddersfield let me see 1-1 yeah. yeah 
Redmond scored a great <coughs> goal. He's a, he's a, he's a player we need to build around next year. I think they gave yeah. him him or Townsend the goal of the Premiership season. Oh really? I think it's probably Townsend for the Townsend, volley at Man yeah, City. Yeah, because yeah. that was a ridiculous goal. I still would have put what's his name goal company's goal ahead of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just like, cause cause time back and place. Yeah, yeah. sent yeah. back time and place, and you needed that goal. Yeah. But um, but no, I think if we if we build next year around the good players like Ward Prowse, like Redmond, mm-hmm. um. We, we, we can finish you think you're keeping Ward Prowse <laughs> next <laughs> wow. I, I think we will um, right. maybe not the whole season but, um, <laughs> I, I think I think we can finish in the top half next year Damn. Will or, comfort, the, or comfortably mid table will, will they ever lose their philosophy of like giving their selling their players just a little bit like hold no, on more no, 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 teams no that are like that no. are like that not unless someone from Abu Dhabi comes in and, and yeah. gives you or make city money, money. Man but what are you doing with <laughs> yeah. all what are you doing with all that money Making more players. Yeah, that's what. The, that's it's just, it's just like a factory. Yeah, you get yeah. good players, you make them, you get more players. It's well, somebody pointless. needs to come, as he said. Somebody needs to come with money. vision of with ridiculous make you money. the next yeah. Yeah. top six team. Because you know it's funny. This it, it looks crazy. Like so, they have a crazy farm system, you know, and their players leave there and go on to better teams and win championships. But if you did have an owner with money, mm. and it, I think you'd end up stop taking as much chances as you do with younger players yeah and turn into the other teams yeah it's happened that's happened to some people um but i mean if if, if you're winning stuff but also yeah. players <laughs> and, quickly like, like i say like but chelsea, play, chelsea yeah. weren't too fussed about not having any youth products coming through when they were yeah, winning yeah. winning yeah. stuff all the time yeah <laughs> but yeah. players do players like play better on teams like southampton because they know they're getting scouted yeah it's a shop window yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. So you don't yeah. mind going there as a like on the third division, like if I yeah, go you're there. Trying to, you're trying yeah, to get on Amazon yeah. wish lists for people <laughs> <laughs> when you play for Southampton. You're just well, playing yourself onto their wish list. Well, our, our, my, I think our fans would be happy if we just if we're comfortable in the Premier League, if we get to watch some good games where because we seem yeah. to play well against the big teams as well. Mm. Like we yeah. beat Arsenal at home this year; it was great to watch. <laughs> right. um, we've we gave United two good games. We didn't win them, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, and. If we can, you know, have a cup run or something like the other year, we got to the final uh, mm-hmm. of the League Cup and lost yeah. to United. Right. Um, but like people are happy with that. We're, they're not. And you did that with Mark Hughes, right? No, that was with uh, Claude Poole. Claude Poole. Oh, so you guys yeah. had Claude Poole this year? No, no, this time it's no. We 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 have a, we've had three managers. He left to go to. We sacked Leicester. him. You sacked him. We Why sacked did you him? sack him? Because the players hated him. Oh, okay. uh, at the start well, of football was boring. Was, this was last year. Yeah. Uh, no, the season before. Because we, we had we had we had uh, Pellegrino before that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Pellegrino left. Went to West Ham. No, no, different. There's that's Pellegrini. Oh. Pellegrini. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's Manuel Pellegrini. We had um, Pellegrino, who's like the ex Liverpool and Valencia centre back. He oh, came from okay. Alaves in Spain. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah. He started out good, right? He's yeah, he started out okay, but his football was really predictable mm. um, and really slow. Like he wanted possession football, but it was really slow, and teams could just. Press us and what's know, Claude Puel up to these days? Where is uh, he? I don't know. After the Leicester, he got fired from somebody yeah. this year from Leicester. But again, he went to the, Leicester. the players, the yeah, players yeah. didn't like him, and the style of football was boring. Yeah, yeah they um, didn't. Who wants a coach that looks like he'll drink your blood? <laughs> 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 that dude ain't a vampire. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. Uh, and then, <laughs> so here's the fucked up thing. So, my cousin plays for Cardiff, mm-hmm. and I rooted for Brighton Hove. <laughs> to finish above Cardiff because I was there's a tons of black players in the league but there's only one black coach and he coaches for Brighton Hove so oh, then yeah. he makes it Brighton Hove stays in the league Nuno's Nuno at Wolves <laughs> yes he was born in Africa come on man <laughs> let's be serious let's be serious <laughs> he's from he's from Sa- Sao Tome and Prince he's not black though he's not black he's not black he's not the same thing and, <laughs> and, if you're, and if you're Portuguese and you're born in South Africa you're an oppressor <laughs> no no he was born on a tiny little island that's like but he's about Portuguese the size of Catalina <laughs> yeah those are the guys I was calling uh, the, the, the real South Africans <laughs> Kaffirs yeah. yeah but but my point is so they they, hide, they kept so the Brighton Hove Cove, Chris Uton, mm. black, yeah. keeps the team up, and then they fired him. Yeah. Oh. So then I was like, I should have just rooted Wait, for my he, cousin's team. He's the guy who just got fired two days back. Like, no, I think today. It's today, today yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's a weird one because their form after Christmas was terrible. 
like they only stayed up because I think the other teams were were dreadful but <laughs> he's done a good job there over a period of time he got them into the Premier League he was good last year they gave him a lot of money in the summer and I don't know whether the players were his signings or the technical director's signings but it's not worked right. but he's done enough at that club I think to get another year to get another chance or, a, tr- if, or, or if, a transfer window yeah like if three months into the new season it's not working out then fire him right um, but I, I can sort of understand why they've done it but I think it's harsh because of what he's done over a period of time there they better get somebody fucking amazing <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently they're going to get uh, Graham Potter who's the Swansea manager um, uh, they finished 10th in the championship, championship but yeah. they had their squad completely gutted out he's done it with young players yeah. with no money he's actually a really impressive coach he was at Ostersunds in Sweden before that mm-hmm. they beat Arsenal in a game in the Europa League when they had they're like mm-hmm. a sort of barely professional team in Sweden oh, right. um, so he's he, and he, um, he was Swansea manager when they played that uh, FA Cup game against Man City and they scored that goal where they just tore City apart just popped oh, the ball yeah, around yeah, yeah. So, so he's like the City goals yeah. versus the City yeah so he's He's got something about him. I think he'll be he'll be good in the Premier League because we were rumoured uh, to be after him before we got Mark Hughes. Oh. <laughs> but we went for the Premier League experience of right. Mark Hughes, which, uh, yeah. <laughs> so you, you went for the Premier League experience of having your opportunity to fire Mark Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's the pinball, right? Like, you, you keep going from Mark Hughes to Sam Allardyce. Yeah. There's like three or four of those guys, Roy Hudson. Well, when, um, when Hughes went, like there, there was rumors of Allardyce. There was rumors of Moyes. Yeah, like, yeah. I hate like, that. Please, yeah. no. Fucking, somebody mentioned, I think Moyes for us when they were going to fire Mourinho. Again, oh. <laughs> Moyes again. <laughs> not Moyes. No, I mean Allardyce. Allardyce <laughs> or somebody or Bruce or somebody. It was fucking yeah. Ian. Wright. Allard- Allardyce might be. He's rumored to be uh, going to India. National well, no, we, the, we we Does signed somebody else. Oh, you went for someone yeah. else. Somebody you else. Sound relieved. Yeah. Well, I, I keep forgetting the name. He was... Because you did up. have Stephen Constantine, who's Constantine, an English It's his second term in, yeah. at India. And he was good. Like, he got the team from, I think we were 140 in the rankings yeah. to, like, he, we yeah, just he improved, reached the top 100. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although you did lose to Guam. <laughs> yeah, we did lose to Guam. <laughs> Guam, which is basically all American a university Navy students. Yeah, so American what? American university students playing for oh, the yeah. national so, team. Yeah, it's, it's basically U.S. college players that have yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a grandparent from Guam. Or yeah. That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. I should have. I should have went to they had college in Guam. <laughs> Guam. Guam had an English coach as well though, at the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's English coaches all over the world. <laughs> yeah. So Cardiff, Fulham, uh, Huddersfield. Good oh. riddance. No, 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 no. The only, the only one I'm sad to see go is Fulham, um, just because it's a nice away day. It's a nice oh, little yeah. stadium it's down by the River Thames. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a short trip for me to watch yeah. Southampton play away there, so uh, oh, that's yeah. the only reason I'm sad to see him <laughs> go. But. Well, no more London derbies with them. <laughs> Scott Parker, let's see if they keep him. Who do you they think have, they've, given, they've given him a deal. <laughs> oh, yeah? They oh, announced yeah. it um, just the other day. You yeah. think he'll be good? No. No, me neither. <laughs> I, have a, I don't know why I think that, <laughs> but I don't think he'll be good. I who agree you, with you. Who do you think is gonna like get that third spot from the championship to get promoted? I got a root for my homeboy. Uh, I got a root for Aston Villa. You got a friend who's a Villa fan. Uh, yeah. A friend who's a Villa yeah. fan. So. Villa need it as well because the parachute payments That's run done. out this yeah. year. Yeah, this is their last. Oh, the parachute really? payments from the Premiership. Yeah. And I didn't know in the Premiership, like, like, so, say, so Bournemouth and who did Bournemouth play? Crystal Palace, mm. right? So. Like whoever, if the the high like say Bournemouth, Crystal Palace finishes in front of Newcastle, mm. they get two million more dollars. Yeah, it's, pri- yeah, it's like two, than, two, yeah. than two, Newcastle yeah, yeah, yeah. for for next season mm. or this season. You just get it paid out at the end of the season. Paid for the finishing yeah. place, yeah. And then so then Newcastle gets two. M- so everybody should be playing every week. It's the play, like the players don't care about that. It's not, it's not yeah. their right. money, if, but if you, if you put if you put the club accountants on the pitch, yeah. they they'll care. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> so hilarious. The, the players are getting paid they, regardless. They should have a club accountant come into the locker room <laughs> every <laughs> before every game. I right, open a briefcase, put the st- uh, yeah, yeah. So we're here at million. Get the Excel and we need to get to out. this million. <laughs> and y'all are playing at this million. So I'm gonna need you to step up your play to this million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and I'll give you some of the money. But no, the, who, so yeah, the others. I mean, Leeds and Derby are playing the other. Mm-hmm. 
playoff. Yeah, and that's, that's a, very a bit of spice there. Because well, well, yeah, yeah, Bielsa's uh, mm-hmm. spying on that's Lampard. Because right. um, that was 1 0. So Derby made it? I think that's the first leg. Leeds won the first leg 1 0. But Lampard's team is in the. Yeah, that's pretty good. Leeds versus Derby. I think a Leeds Villa final will be probably the the best final yeah because yeah. they have their issue from the other game where the, yeah. they're kicking the ball out oh and they yeah. yeah so then that's a so first this this first playoff game is big because Villa versus uh, West, Brom. West Brom West Brom is that's a Birmingham Derby a, a, a Derby, Birmingham yeah. Derby and then if they get past that they gotta play Leeds who they have it, it, I'll say Birmingham yeah. I shouldn't say that because West Brom don't consider themselves Birmingham Villa, yeah. Villa's in Birmingham right. but, yeah. but it's still a Derby Midland for some reason yeah, yeah. Who, so who do you who who were your favorite? Say, I, I, this, this was this was a tough season. So normally I say, who is your favorite player for the season? If if you can name your favorite player or two or three of them, not are we, are we discluding our own teams? You, nah, put them <laughs> in there. <laughs> that, yeah, you, you, well, everybody's going to disclude your team. Oh yeah, <laughs> they probably disclude my team too. I gotta go with Son. Son? Yeah. My yeah. right, son. Yeah, he came through. Yeah. Came, he stepped up yeah when stepped up when him. he needed yeah. it yeah. yeah so I mean as Spur fans I gotta pick him mm-hmm. um Aguero I told you from the beginning I liked him mm-hmm. I liked the way he just and then he ended up I mean not lead scorer but mm-hmm. it's all good mm. I started noticing more Van Dijk when they started talking about him right. yeah and he actually it was a I don't know if player of the year but I think he did win player no he did That's, I don't mm-hmm. know if you'd give it to him but oh, once, okay, once yeah, I sta- yeah. once I started hearing yeah, that he was yeah. I started Looking at him more, and I was like, "Holy yeah. crap!" Yeah, he mm-hmm. he held yeah. it down, so he knows what mm. he's doing. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and I gotta give it up to Salah for being in a drought and still getting so first place. Yeah, 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 a drought. Yeah. Yeah. Two goal season yeah, yeah. drought. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, how you're in a drought and you yeah. had a bucket. bad season. Yeah. Looking, yeah. <laughs> kind of just won the <laughs> golden boot. <laughs> what about you, best? Um, Bernardo Silva, it's up there for me just because yeah, the improvement from last year yeah. it was just ridiculously good. Um, although. David Silver, I love watching as well. Mm-hmm. Like, did you see the little flick for the first goal for Aguero? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like just that little touch, yeah. like it made such a big difference. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the two Silvers I love. Um, mm-hmm. Just great to watch. Um, Alexander Arnold, we spoke about him as yeah. well. Just because he's so young, he just yeah. come in and and bossed it. And for me, the the other player I've really liked watching is Declan Rice. Oh yeah. Because England really haven't nice. had a midfielder like that like mm-hmm. a kind of kind for of a long time. Yeah. yeah. Cuz he just sits in front of the defence. I've watched him live a couple of times and mm-hmm. he's just he's so calm and he reads the play yeah. really well. He wins the ball and then his decisions in possession are really intelligent. Okay. Um we So Eric we, Dyer out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or into the back into the back line. <laughs> um but we yeah, England needs a midfielder like that and for him to just yeah. play like he has in his first season of Premier League football is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, so yeah. He won't be at West Ham for too long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think, like, you know, there's, like, a number of players in either of the top two teams, City and Liverpool. Yeah. And they all kind of, you know, Van Dijk and Sterling definitely have had exceptional seasons. Mm. But, uh, I mean, Eden Hazard, for me, the job he'd, like, single-handedly keeping us in the top four. And uh, it's, it's kind of bittersweet because we know he's going now. Mm. And... It's probably the first time in a long, long time a Chelsea player is leaving in his prime against uh, the club's wishes. Mm-hmm. Um, you look like you're going to cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm like it, it, yeah. <laughs> I, I just, so, just so you know, I gotta, man to man, there's tears well, welling I'm, up I'm in your eyes. It's <laughs> probably you the last talk few with your, games. You want to talk with your back to the camera? <laughs> <laughs> just so you can leave here hazard. with some dignity. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's been it's uh, it's been exceptional considering the complete lack of support he had in that forward line, and um, well, you know, he kind of got us through the Champions League as a parting gift. Mm-hmm. I need to win that final. Uh, let me see. For me, Sterling, Bernardo Silva, uh, a lot of you know li- other Liverpool players like the Robertson and Trent Alexander Arnold. Uh, just uh, just seeing. The things that Firmino, Salah, and Mane do together, mm. uh, but then there's just these comeback players. These players, you're like, who the fuck is that guy? And they, his brain gets switched with another guy, Sissoko, <laughs> Henderson. Yeah. Like I've seen Henderson do some shit this year. Like back a few years ago, when they almost won, I was like, this guy's gonna be next Gerard, and then. It's just been a complete fall off. But then this year, some of the shit that he's done against Bayern, like 
in Bayern Munich, the way he played up there, and just th- even fucking against Barca the other day, and just other games. Like I put, like he's one of my favorite players to watch. And who else? It's Sissoko. It's like who, who would you give United's Player of the Season to? I give it to Pogba. Why not? Yeah. He's got the goals. Like why are we not giving it to him? Mm. Shaw was good, but come on. It w- we know it wasn't the gear because he fucked up a lot. Yeah. Like, so w- why why are we just picking on this guy and not giving it to him? Like Shaw didn't even play all the games this season. Pogba did it only when Mourinho benched him. Like that, that's the that's the, and that's the thing. It's like now when they have the team award and you have a mm-hmm. chance to like make the guy feel wanted, you don't. <laughs> you go around it yeah. and pick somebody else. Did you and see the video? Oh, you the think there was some sort of a like an agenda? I don't know. I just think it's it? a dumb mistake. And the, but yeah. the team as an organization has been making a lot of dumb mistakes. Yeah. yeah. Well, we were talking on the way over about um, mm-hmm. United needing a technical director, and they've rumored yeah. uh, Van der Sar. Okay. From Ajax, That'd which would be, be a for good a smart move. move. Yeah. But I heard that and Fletcher. Darren Fletcher and, and Rio like Ferdinand were two of the rumors. Yeah, and I'm like, th- those two no. guys. He no. assured me in the car <laughs> that they were just rumors. <laughs> yeah. So I feel way better. Van der Sar is the one you want to listen to. Because yeah. he's That's done it. He's got some experience yeah. doing it. Yeah, at, uh, and then I was yeah. like, if he does that, then is it Delit who's still there? Or De- yeah, Delit. Yeah, yeah. He said 19. Yeah. Pipeline to Man U. <laughs> and any fucking thing <laughs> that <laughs> floats around Ajax that's going to be a legend, <laughs> pipeline to Man U because we got that guy, Van der Sar. So yeah. there's there's two reasons to do it. One, because he's already doing it and he's doing a great job yeah. at Ajax. Mm-hmm. And two, pipeline to fucking Man U. We need some pipelines. Like when Wenger first came to Arsenal, the there's France. a pipeline from fucking France <laughs> to goddamn <laughs> fucking the Arsenal locker room. We need some direct pipelines. Well, we said like yeah. United haven't got an identity. If you got someone in like that, mm-hmm. you could start yeah, to build kinda, that. You yeah. can kind of co- yeah. like, you know, take the shortcut, copy an identity. Yeah. And yeah. Just chat we, we just need it. some ball control. Like there's no fantastic people on the field next to P- Park, but like nobody gets the ball, you know, and just does something amazing when they're in. Like when a Man U player gets the ball and they're surrounded, they're gonna give it up. <laughs> like the other day, I saw Ronaldo being sou- surrounded by three Barca players. Uh, do you remember in the, this moment in the second half? And he just got out of it. Mm. Mm. He just Barcelona the Barcelona players, <laughs> and they were over there. And he was over there with the ball heading towards their goal. And I was like, we don't got none of that. Yeah. We well, but that. that's the thing. You need a lot of players. We need. Yeah. You said midfield. Yeah, you keep saying midfield. Yeah. Keep saying midfield. I keep saying it. it was four players. You get backs, midfield. Mm. Yeah. Some creative guys that can hold on to the ball, can get out of trouble when they're definitely in trouble and make some shit happen. <laughs> All right. So that's the Premier League season. It was fun. Did you all enjoy it? In the end, because we were safe. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Same here, in the end, because finally we fixed a few basic mistakes we were making throughout the season. But the title race was so much fun to watch. Right. I don't think we'll have such a title race ever again. I know. We've had it more times than the commentators. It's like everybody wants to make everything. Like when I was just talking to Lee in the car, and I was like, how close was it the year, the, the year when... Man City won the last, last, goal, mm. last goal of the yeah, season. Yeah. Like that, that had to be in a close but, race. But that was closer, but it was it wasn't at this level. Mm. It was closer no at an 80, up. 85 yeah, points wow. level. Wow, oh, you're very yeah. disrespectful. Yeah. I, agree. <laughs> I agree. I'm on your side. This is wow. stressful. Yeah, yeah, this is stressful for you're very disrespectful for too, son. Because you could, there's no margin for error. No, no. None. Mm. Yeah. You can't fuck up. All right. All right, I see you. And you're getting paid a lot of money not to fuck up, so don't <laughs> fuck up. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> what I'm <laughs> telling you. Like, look, dude, like even any- even like the the year where Gerard slipped, there were three teams in the title race, mm. but they were that's all. Was that, wasn't like, that a great season? Yeah, it was a great season. But I'm saying when you're competing, like the av- comparing it to the absolute. But nothing best could be best. greater. Even though this year was amazing, nothing could be greater than when I'm watching the Man U game and you're cutting to the Man City game back 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 yeah and one team gets the goals one team gets the sending off and then the I, th- I think sometimes there's a difference between entertainment and quality, quality yeah. and this year was quality because right. you've got two teams that were just way yeah. ahead of everyone else in terms of quality mm-hmm. yeah. there could have been a four team title race but it would have meant i don't think the quality would have been yeah, as would good. have been as good all right um but yeah it's like 
like the Palace uh, Bournemouth game, the five three. It's entertaining. Yeah. It's not good though. <laughs> well, the, the goals were good, but the yeah, yeah. Do you have what, a wish? What do you think? What do you think of yeah. your season? I mean, I'll let you ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of your the, the season? That was alright. That was cool. I mean, he's like, he's like the season's yeah, not yeah, over yeah. yet. Yeah, the season's, the season's seen, yeah. just getting started, <laughs> baby. <laughs> yes, sorry. Got, got the stadium now as well. Yeah, we got the stadium. Yeah, you got the stadium. Yeah. See? Won some games exactly. in it. Exactly. They're excited to come back. <laughs> yeah. No, one, no one's leaving. Yeah. <laughs> you got the hen at the top of the stadium. Yeah. That shoots sparks out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. It'll be fun. It'll be a good year. Yeah. Uh, what were you going to ask me? No, it's like, do, do any of you have like any wish list, anything you want us, you're hoping to see next season? Yeah, man. You rising <laughs> back and challenging <laughs> these people at the top of the table. I just think we... We uh, we need central midfielders, but what we need more is wing backs. So I'd rather get wing backs and central midfielders, wing fielders that can contribute in the midfield, and midfielders who can contribute in the midfield, and also like make sure that the, you know that can improve the team to the point where the players already on the team improve themselves. Mm-hmm. I think we're forwards we're straight. As a, Rashford has another year. To get more experience, hopefully I don't know where Marshall's head is at. To be honest, uh, Lukaku, how long? How old is Lukaku? He's young. I think he's like twenty six, twenty six, twenty seven. Yeah, that's the thing. He's young, so maybe he could get better. And then something you were telling me in the car, you were telling me how long Premiership teams practice for the day. Mm-hmm. Tell me that. It's like ten to twelve usually. Just and then they go home. Yeah. yeah. It's just a couple of be, hours. They'll be or they'll be in the gym, gym or yeah, doing yeah. some bits inside. And to me, that's like, hey man, stick <laughs> around afterwards and fucking practice <laughs> as an individual and get better. Well, his problem he goes back to the gym and starts lifting. Who? That's how Lukaku. That's how he's gotten yeah. so big, so ripped. And that's so, how, so he's control. He's, he built so many muscles he can't control the ball. Yeah, yeah, but he's, he's still got a more first touch like a trampoline. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like it's it's like his foot is the moon. <laughs> his foot is the like when the ball hits his foot, it launches like there's no gravity and it, it zooms it zooms out. Yeah. I, so I just want us to get some good quality world class yeah. midfielders, and we'll yeah. create more opportunities. Mm. Wing backs, and I think we'll be uh, finish at least third next year, and then build on that for the year after. Yeah, and w- and we need a system. Mm. And you don't s- do you see anything crazy happening with the with the manager <laughs> in the summer? Uh, crazy like what? Getting fired? Yeah. yeah. Anything's possible. I think they'll keep him. Yeah. yeah. I think they're keeping. They should keep him. He earned. I mean, the, towards the end of the season wasn't good, but it's because of the players. I don't blame him. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I think I think it'd be good to judge him after a full season. Yeah. 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 All right. Anything you want to plug? Oh, uh, is it? No, uh, man, you said no. Oh, Wednesday, Irvine <laughs> Improv. Uh, me, George Perez, Kate Quigley, Side Dick Eddie, which is a little bit of stand up. Get your tickets at irvineimprov.com. That's pretty much it. What about you? Uh, if anyone's listened to this before tomorrow night, I'm doing roast battle in the belly room oh, shit. Oh, at the cool. store. That'll be fun. Uh, if anyone from the UK is listening, I've uh, got a few things before the end of the month. I'm at uh, Vauxhall Comedy Club. On what do you mean, 23rd. if anyone for the UK? This is <laughs> UK's <laughs> number UK, one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Number one. Soccer okay, maybe not, podcast from LA. <laughs> from yeah. LA, yeah. I'll, I'll be, <laughs> yeah. This is the UK's <laughs> number one. No, it's not the number one podcast from this room. Shit. All right, yeah. just keep but going. Yeah, I'll be, yeah, Vauxhall Comedy Club on the 23rd of May, uh, City Comedy Club on the 30th, uh, and then uh, From the Horse's Mouth in Bristol on the 31st. Shit, cool. Hmm. Somewhere. I'll I'll be at the Comedy Palace this this weekend in San Diego. Anybody from San Diego is listening, and uh, I'll be at the Comedy Trolley, trolley on <laughs> June first. It's <laughs> like a, it's trolley. supposed to be like a fun roster kind of thing. We're basically saying jokes to tourists. <laughs> and uh, who's the joke? Who's the joke on? <laughs> and um, producing my the next Brown Loves Matter show on the first Saturday of July at the Comedy Palace. Yeah. I'll be in St. Louis on the 25th of May, but that's for, uh, it's for like a 
taping or some shit. So forget that. Just follow <laughs> me on Instagram <laughs> at Ian Edwards Comic on Twitter, Ian Edwards Comic on Facebook, and uh, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Ian Edwards or Ian Edwards Soccer Comic Rant Edwards. And uh, are you gonna do? It. Are you gonna do the podcast off season too? Well, I'm gonna do. We still have FA Cup. Yeah. Which we didn't really talk about. That's this weekend. Mm. So uh, it's it, it, to me, there's not much to talk about. It's like <laughs> Man City's gonna win it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> They're yeah. playing Watford. <laughs> Man, how how Pep is gonna throw that away? <laughs> I, no idea. You know, it's gonna be funny. Is if they by any chance lose it, people are gonna dumb down on Pep like as if he's had the worst season ever. You think oh, so? Yeah. I don't yeah. think that's even possible. You can't. Uh, just one got 98 points yeah but people have this thing about pep like they're mm. looking to find any inch that they can get on this good guy. luck good yeah. luck <laughs> yeah because I, I, I nobody would have he's rational. not giving them any yeah but yeah so next week we'll come back talk about fa cup and then we got champions league after yeah. when is the europa league yeah, so you can talk shit on it three days before the champions league yeah so yeah champions league first of june yeah that's yeah, a, is, is that midweek is that a midweek game uh no oh. If it's three days, oh, Champions, Champions, Champions League is always on a Sunday. Yeah, Champions League is on a Sunday. Yeah. Say that again. Champions League final always on a Sunday. Yeah. So then three days before that is midweek. Yeah. Well, 29th May is May 30th. Yeah. Or maybe the Friday. Yeah, I wonder if there was a way we could look that up and find you that out. Yeah, calendar on. <laughs> it's on a su- yeah, June 1st on a Sunday, so it'd be midweek. So it'd be on a Wednesday. Yeah, it'd be on a so Wednesday. June 1st, May, June 1st? June. No, May, June 1st. May, May, May. Yeah. So then how many weeks? Damn, we are there's there's gonna be like empty weeks. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you have to until Go about the playoffs. <laughs> Probably have the playoffs in those weeks. In the the the, the championship playoffs? Yeah. Well, you could go down to League One and League Two. I mean absolutely nobody would care about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. Maybe there'll yeah, be a okay. podcast. Well maybe time. that'll we'll be see. a niche, like you'll find like a bunch of people. Two. A bunch in, of Sunderland fans. Sunderland, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. <laughs> All right, guys. I appreciate you coming. It was fun. And uh, we'll see what's up. Yeah. Cheers. All right, Cheers. Thanks. thanks. And uh, Aaron Brungard, everybody. Aaron Brungard is in the motherfucking <laughs> building. I hope he did not cut.